Radioactive tritium is leaking from three quarters of all U.S. commercial nuclear power sites. The cancer causing material often seeps into groundwater from corroded, buried piping. That's what the Associated Press concluded after a year long investigation. The policy that's in place right now is leak first, fix later. And that compromises the public health and safety, and it also violates the conditions to which these plants were originally licensed. Beyond nuclears, Paul Gunter says the number and severity of the leaks has been escalating, even as federal regulators extend the licenses of more and more reactors across the nation. Tritium is a radioactive form of hydrogen. In many cases, the radioactive leaks have far exceeded the federal drinking water standard. But so far, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission and industry says the leaks are not a threat to public health. However, the National Academy of Sciences and other experts disagree and say any exposure to radioactivity boosts the risk of cancer. It's very effective in damaging things like DNA uh, or cell development. The tritium leaks have also spurred doubts among independent engineers about the reliability of emergency safety systems at the 104 nuclear reactors situated on 65 different sites. We've got 50, uh, 23 plants that are identical to Fukushima and the demonstrated failure of this technology 100% for the failure of containment at units 1, 2, and 3 in Japan. Experts say tritium is relatively short-lived and enters the body weekly through air. The main health risk with tritium would be in drinking water. It will be in somebody's drinking water someday. Um, and, uh, you know, again, the, the, the concentrations, uh, the risks increase even at low dose exposure. But chronic exposure, particularly through drinking and bathing and cooking in radioactive water, uh, will represent a concern for somebody, if not today, tomorrow. Beyond Nuclear says these types of radioactive leaks are routine and underground pipes at nuclear power facilities should be dug out and placed above ground so they can be inspected and maintained before it's too late. Rhonda Pence, Press TV, Washington.